Ich habe halt eine Orange gegessen. Ich wünschte, ich wäre da gewesen. When Faber starts out in this season, he's ultimately torn after the mercy killing of his son. Wir haben keinen Sohn und wir hatten hier einen Sohn, verstehst du? He's trying to shut that pain down by becoming what he considers to be maybe a good soldier. Somebody who's just marching on, doing things, not asking questions. He's being pushed to a point where he has to question himself whether the purpose of this sacrifice, you know, was right, whether he really could save his son from something or whether he's just a murderer. There's a, this vision of humanity that uh, Mark and Stephanie, the showrunners, have. That's, that's something you, you feel in every scene. Are you too close to her? Are you too close to Sabina? Lunching with a Nazi wife is not a vacation for me. Personally, I was just blessed with this character that has become more and more complex and more and more challenging. We have my name to the game, Mr. Nazi Man and Frau. The best you can tragen, you will start to forget. Hast du mich verstanden? Oh, du mich verstanden hast. He's got a wife that ultimately realizes that she can't uh, stand her solitude anymore, and that's where Aurora breaks in. <laughs> I just thought that makes so much sense, and it's just brilliant, and it just opens up so many possibilities. It's been an amazing roller coaster ride for me. I was just happy to be given the opportunity that they would trust me with this character. You're going to tell me. And bring this character to life. Everything you know. It's uh, the gig of a lifetime. <laughs>